Hey guys, welcome back to Sip and Slay. So this one is gonna be recorded. When I did the live one, I had so many comments and messages the next morning saying, why did you do it live? Why did you do that? Why did you not tell us? And I actually tried to tell you guys, but it was just a short amount of time. But today's Sip and Slay is not gonna be two hours long. I'm gonna try and keep it efficient, but cute, but informative, but cute, bad bitch but cute. So if you want to see what Sip and Slay is all about today, keep on watching. Okay, so before we begin, I'm going to make a drink again. I think I did this in the live Sip and Slay. I think I actually did. If you didn't catch a live Sip and Slay and you have two hours to spare, very, very um, paramount pictures time, then I'll link it in the side below. Sorry, this lash is so annoying. You know when the lash is like, because my eyelash, anyway, child, that's another story. So, okay, do not have ice in it? Okay, so I've got some ice in here. Um, this is from, um, if you're based in London, this is called the Cocktail Delivery Co. And they basically make cocktails for you. And all you need to do is basically um, add some ice, put the cocktail in there. I'm not gonna put too much in there because it's like three o'clock in the morning. I'm not trying to get lit. Well, you know I am. And you add one of these. This is like dry grapefruit, I think. I'm gonna add like maybe one because I almost choked on one the other day. <laughs> we are going to pretend we didn't hear that. Oh, and we also have food today. Look at what I got. Who lives under the pineapple under the sea? Wait a minute. This is from my girl Bee Fed again. I'm not gonna lie, I had this on Sunday, so a lot of it's been eaten. Um, let me have a sip of drink first. I need to look at the time because I don't want this to be, to be so long. Okay, so see, it's that damn um, dry fruit. Okay, so the first topic, we're gonna go through topics. Then I'm gonna show you some new bits that I've been loving. And then obviously, oh my God, I haven't even told you why I have on this t-shirt. Let me see my eyes. So by the time this goes out, you, the the pride video will be up on Sunday. So I did a pride look. Um, I've never really done a pride look ever on my channel. I'm not sure why I've just never really done one. So it's a bit mad really. So it is pride month, LGBTQA. And obviously in the rainbow now we have black, brown and purple. I think purple's always, always been there, but girl, it's happy pride month. So cheers to that. So we are doing, um, your topics, maybe some PR new bits, and then we're gonna ask some questions which you guys had messaged me before and you really wanted to like know about it, like backdrops and stuff and like how to really get into this, because a lot of you guys obviously wanna get into the game. So good, so good, oh my God. Okay, so the City Girls dropped a new album called City on Lock. So guys, I love the City Girls, like, ooh, look at, look at that. So the City Girls are amazing. This gloss is coming off, it's um, Tammy Revolution. So they dropped the video called Jobs and ever since they premiered it on Instagram, I was like, I need this job, I, I need this song. It goes, nasty but classy, Birkin bag me, put on, mm, mm, mm. She's pretty good for her age. It was such a damn tune. Have you guys heard the album? What do you think of the City Girls? I do think with the City Girls, they kind of took more of a long time to do a comeback. I know JT came out of prison in February, March. But I do feel like they should have done something sooner because I feel like with this kind of industry, yeah, people get forgotten about very quickly. But to be fair, people are always gonna love the City Girls. Act Up was such a summer 2019 banger. It still is a banger when it comes in the clubs, but I do feel like they should have released it earlier, but it makes sense since it's summer and the album is really, really good, guys. Okay, that's it before I get me too monetized. So yeah, they bought out a new album, but I do think I should have been sooner. Sorry guys, this food is so good. Like, ugh, this is why I shouldn't eat and sip and slaves because I get so distracted. And because I haven't eaten that much today, I'm eating at 3 a.m., guys. This is how bad it is, but who cares? Do you open yet? Okay. Nicki Minaj 
I know you guys, some of you don't like her, some of you don't, I mean some of you do. Trolls has gone to number one. <clears throat> I told you guys it's gonna go to number one. I told you, you know what? Nicki Minaj is smart because Fifi was such a hit when she knew Six Nine coming out of prison, he was obviously gonna collaborate with her. I think he's always like ridden for her. They're both from New York. They're both from Queens, I think. And the song has been the fastest selling song of 2020, which I don't think they can kind of compare that because not many people have put out music in 2020 just because we have been in kind of like a five to six month um, lockdown. So bravo to them. I do feel like if it wasn't for the Nicki Minaj verse, would I like it? Because he's just shouting. Honestly, I don't even know what he's even saying in the song. All I know is Nikki's bit when she goes, Shala Dala Bill, come, come get her. <laughs> so, congratulations to them. I still find it really mad, yeah, that Nicki Minaj has never, ever had a number one on her own. Like, do you not think that's crazy? So, it definitely isn't right then because she's definitely had number one hit songs like worthy but she's never had it, her own number one hit which is crazy well she's had two number one hits collaboratively one with Doja Cat and um, oh guys you know on the City Girls new album yeah they have a song with Doja Cat which obviously must have been recorded ages ago but I think well have maybe seen that maybe they've been filming the video together but do you think if they film the video together the city girls will be cancelled or do you think well the party because the song's actually quite good it's called um it's called something about pussy <laughs> <laughs> but um the song is really really good but is doja still cancelled i'm just not sure what's going on with her because she's posting on social media more so maybe she's just trying to like brush the situation off but I just feel like Doja, I feel like you need to address this. She has addressed the situation, but I feel like it wasn't a proper situation addressing, you know? So I'm just like, mmm, ciao. <sighs> okay, so the next situation is very, very confusing to me. So you know the rapper Fabulous? Hold on. <laughs> Bab, you less. <laughs> so you know he dates Emily B, who was once in love and hip hop. And um, Kim Bella said, you know, well, me and Fab dated, well, two years ago. And Emily B was like, well, I was with him then. And then um, Chrissy bucked down Kim Bella. Okay, so Emily, <laughs> come say her name properly. Emily B is pregnant for Fabulous again. So the thing is with me is, yeah. <sighs> Do look okay? So when you date a rapper, I feel like you come accustomed to a lifestyle where Emily B has been dating Fabulous now for like a good 15 to 20 years. I think so. And obviously, um, she's probably used to that lifestyle, the money. And to be fair, even if they're not married, they're definitely not married. Even if they did break up, she would get child support because Fabulous is obviously very well off. I think Fabulous is one of these rappers, even though he acts very mad, he's definitely very smart with his money. He's produced and written for a lot of people. So, um... It just baffles me that, imagine you had a man who, first of all, has you've been dating for 12 to 15 years, has never proposed to you, has never even entertained the thought of marriage. Um, he's very abusive to you. <clears throat> you and him one day get into, so first of all, you find out he's been cheating on with many girls and many girls within um, the UK. And then second of all, you and him have a massive argument and then he he punches your dad in the face and knocks him out and then he punches you and you lose several teeth who the fuck are you listen me and you aren't together anymore first of all i'm, I'm probably gonna go to the toilet and break my arm and probably do further damages because your ass is getting sued and then second of all i'm telling my dad to do something else because listen you aren't you you're not touching my family and expecting me to get back with you so if I was her dad and you are my daughter and you're going back to someone that punched me in the face, I'm, I'm going to have to disown you because what in that world is going on here? This is why sometimes that money and lifestyle can really ruin a person because where's the self-respect? And I feel like, I'm not dissing Emily, but I really, I think she's such a beautiful woman, but I just feel like after someone attacks your own dad and punches you in the face and you lose several teeth, 
how can you go back to a man and get pregnant for him? But fair enough, they could, they could have had counselling, I don't know. They could have worked for their issues. But from when, from when my man is making me lose teeth, it's not funny, I'm not laughing at domestic violence, it's not a funny situation. But from when my man is personally making me lose teeth, I'm going after his mom, I'm going after the sister. Someone else is losing their teeth also because it can't just be me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry guys, I'm trying not to eat on camera because I know a lot of people have, um, and why am I so, I feel like I'm tipsy. I know a lot of people have problems with seeing people eat on camera. So the next video I'm gonna show you is very troubling. We can speak on the topic because I feel like this topic is it would take more than several videos to talk about this person, but I love this person so much. Everyone that's watching this video has heard one of her songs, and don't lie, you've danced to one of her songs before. So let me show you this video. Okay, I can't get copyrighted. Britney, babe, babe, Britney, what? <laughs> Britney, what's going on, babe? Like. First of all, I feel so sorry for Britney Spears. I'm not even joking because I've been following the Britney Spears story since Wendy Williams spoke about it. First of all, her dad's ill. So um, her dad is the one that has um, all control of her money. So Britney Spears doesn't have control of her money. So her dad is the one that really keeps looks after her. So I know her dad's ill. Kevin fed the line who, she, I'm not sure why she married this guy, was who was her backup dancer and then who also married um, that girl from Moesha, who had a baby with her, what was her name? Not Nisi from Moesha. And so Kevin Federline has basically got um, full custody of the kids, which is, I'm not being, I'm not saying in a bad way, but for a mother to lose full custody of her kids, you know something isn't right. And we've known something hasn't been right with Britney for a long, long time, do you know what I mean? Like Britney Spears is, I really feel sorry for her because I always say she's one of these celebrities that hasn't really lived a normal life. Um, she's she's probably one of the most famous people in the world. Like you can go on to any street corner, you can go to any place in the world, and someone would know who Britney Spears is. I just feel like it's really really unfortunate for her. Like I'm not sure who's controlling her social media. I remember her son went onto Instagram or. TikTok and said um, if anyone wants to know any stories about my mom please give me a follow so I just feel like the whole situation is just a bit mad and I really feel sorry for Britney I just feel like not in a bad way I wouldn't be surprised if the worst happened to her like no, I'm not saying I'm not saying it would would but I just feel like no one's controlling the situation and she seems to be spiraling out of control which is one of the worst saddest things because she's actually an icon like Britney Spears, Chris Aguilera that kind of whole era. Britney Spears is an icon. Let's not, let's just not lie. Britney Spears has had some of the most iconic hits that has ever entered. Like she can't, her voice isn't the best, but sis can put on a whole performance and that is on period. When I went here through the topic, I was literally trying to eat this food. Sorry, my friend, I said she imagine it's almost 3.31. My friend just sent me not tea, but it's like, tea about a brand but not a brand but like it's not like gossip but it's like their products and i'm just like and i use one of their products now okay okay let's forget it Blah. so someone said i can know this is someone said okay so imagine on the shade room I actually got sent this video before you know how the whole george floyd's case is still happening why are two of the officers out on bail which confuses me like i know the last two weeks have been crazy and devastating and traumatic and no people have just gone to resume to posting their original content which i have as well but i'm still trying to spread spread the message and you know like learn and just to see if anything else is happening but it really confuses me that there was such a big protest there was such a big demand for these killers to go into jail and they're just being bailed out first of all who is paying for their bail to come out it just doesn't make any sense so I can't, I can't even remember to find the video, but there was someone, I think maybe in a Walmart, and then it was this guy, let me see if I can show you the picture. He was buying stuff with his friend, this one here. So they saw him, and the woman was so brave actually, obviously, because 
I don't, I'm not sure how she even recognized him because he had a hat on, I think, and it was just like, she was just like, oh, are you proud of what you've done? You should be ashamed to be out. And he was like, oh, I don't blame you if you've been kidnapped, blah, blah. If that was me, do you think I could ever leave my house? First of all, I'd be scared, I'd be killed in a heartbeat. Like, it just makes me sick that this guy is obviously, I'm not sure what race he is, but he's obviously not white. And it just makes me sick for him for me to think that he's just out there by well he had oreos in his hand in the video and you've actually um helped to kill a man it just makes me feel really really sick that how does bell work in america guys like i thought do we have bell in the uk i'm not sure obviously i've never been arrested or in trouble with the police touch touch wood i'm not sure how bell works but when you get arrested in the us can someone just automatically bail you out i'm just not sure what the hell's going on guys it's just so so messy I just switched to apple juice because the food is super super spicy okay so the next topic it is kind of personal because since we're talk well since i'm wearing this and a little pride look i just wanted to like speak about how you guys feel because i've had well this was a kind of ages ago a woman commented on my profile saying well i had to block her actually because you can hide people from your channel she was like i love watching you and your personality but I just don't agree with you being gay so I feel like I'm guilty watching you and that comment really made me just think are you okay you dumb bitch now, obviously I just feel like what would make you even type that to someone like when you type things to people you don't be really, really think of the actions and how you make them feel like how are you saying you feel guilty for watching me like I'm some kind of demon and this way it gets me to like black lives matter i've been seeing so many things out now about black lives matter there's actually a, a march on saturday it was a black lives matter and, and um a black lives matter lgbt um march and a lot of people are still battling today to say that even though black lives matter black lives lgbt lives do not matter and i feel like if you are watching this video and you don't agree with black lives lgbt matters then i don't think you should be watching this video because if you are saying black lives matter or black lives matter it doesn't care if you're black lives matter trans black lives matter blue black lives matter gay black lives matter lesbian we're still a black life like just because our sexuality we're still the same human being we still have the same skin color so it really confuses me when gossip outlets they know sometimes you know like these um gossip outlets even though sometimes they do post kind of funny things or juicy kind of tea when they post things about lgbt or trans things they know they know they do it just because they know the comments are going to be controversial. They know people are going to be like, well, I'm here for LGBT. And someone's going to be like, well, they shouldn't be teaching it to kids. Even the other day when it was in the shade room when um, Nickelodeon admitted that SpongeBob was gay. Well, who's, who, who thought that SpongeBob was gay? Like, wasn't it on period? But anyway, I just feel like sometimes these, um, like, these gossip outlets, these new outlets can be very toxic, especially in the black industry. Like, um... I remember I did a podcast the other day and this, well, a number of girl was asking me about, I basically did a BBC One Extra um, interview a year ago and um, I was being interviewed by um, Reese Parkinson and he was talking about being black and LGBT in the black community and how do you still feel like there still is a struggle and there still is a struggle just because, not in a bad way, I feel like it's been embedded in certain cultures like in the obviously if you're jamaican and stuff it's embedded in most of the songs we're talking about batty you know and um all these kind of things and these homosexual slurs and i feel like it's just been embedded and i feel like it's still in a kind of older generation culture so um i do feel like it's just one of those things that needs to be sorted out but i'm not sure if it'll ever be sorted out because i feel like there's just some guys and girls that are just so against it like when I've been in some of the shade rooms comments or any any just kind of comment about, you know, even when that whole that trans girl got um beaten up during the whole um George Floyd march, it was about around the same time. I'm not sure what happened to her before the beating up, but all like there was like 30 guys beating her up and I just thought, what the hell is going on here? It was just a bit crazy to me to be fair, and I just really wish that 
our community could just accept the LGBT community more. It just, it means a lot to me, but I just, I'm just not sure when that would happen. Like I know there, was, there are some brilliant open-minded people out there that just don't care, but there still are people to this day that just really, really do not care. And like, they just don't give a fuck really. It just, it's just quite upsetting, but um, I don't know guys, but let's just move on to the next one because this is going to make me hella hella depressed. Oh what my god, I don't think a bit, of, a bit of it was recording how annoying. This is how you know I'm tipsy. So um, I'm not sure if we got to the trend move bit or not. So I basically said no to this um, Essence Makeup Watermelon kind of skincare set. Because I don't like my skincare smelling too fragranced. Like why would, why would I want a moisturiser smelling like watermelon? Actually Glow Recipe stuff is quite nice but... I feel like it's not extremely fragrant, especially for me. But um, there's a new launch by Cap, well, KVD Vegan Beauty, and it's called the um, Shake Primer, and it's an invisible light as air liquid formula that goes on invisible clear. It's universal. It's universal. And it gives the eyeshadows a true to pan color. So this is it. This looks so so good. But I was reading the comments, oh, Santana just went live, Saucy Santana, and um, people are saying that um, this is the w weirdest rebrand ever, and people still associate Kat Von D with the brand, just because it's still the same logo, which I do get, like, if you are going to rebrand, maybe change up the style, but if they do, people might get confused because they're used to Kat Von D. Uh, I'm not sure, guys, but I do like some of her products. Um, obviously, I, I was never the biggest fan of Kat Von D, even before she said all that madness. I knew she was in um, Miami Inc., one of those kind of shows, but I was never like really like on it. And it's, so Melt Cosmetics have come up with a new palette, and it's, it's called she's in parties and it's a plum eyeshadow palette mm, this looks cute i've never tried anything from melt except for their gel liners but i just feel like you can probably find all these shadows somewhere else but they do look actually they do look really nice but i think this would be a really nice soft glam palette and a deeper skin tone 100 percent super super gorgeous morphe are doing so many collabs so morphe have done a collab with maddie zyga so this is the palette. Mm, I feel like for me, it's, I probably wouldn't get this. I think I know who she is. They did a live with her not so long ago, but I just feel like it looks a bit too pastel-y and a bit too neutral, but who knows, it might be cute when I see it in store. And oh, the last thing, which I know I definitely want to get is from Patrick Tarr. And this is his new Major Headlines collection. Look how gorgeous this is, guys. We copping, we dropping, because I know I'm copping. I only want one of the lipsticks. There's, got, there's a banging nude lipstick. Oh, guys, when I get it, I'm going to do a video on it because I've actually tried to get this already. So as soon as it drops, okay, so I'm back. I've stopped eating. I don't think it's really easy. I don't think it's a good idea for me to eat, like, eat during sip and slay because I get so distracted. But that was really, really good because I was so hungry as well. I literally only had an omelette today, which is crazy. Okay, so that's another sort of trend mood. So some people have asked me questions, which I forgot to address in the live one because I was just so excited to be speaking to all you guys. So someone said to me, they want to start YouTube and they want me to explain my setup. So I can't really, oh, I should have got a vlogging camera to film this bit, but I can do if you want to, but everything I use is linked in my description bar and always is just so there's no confusion of what I use so what I do is I so this is not a paper backdrop I used to use paper backdrops all the time but first of all they're hard to store second of all they're super expensive and third of all they're just super annoying because you always have to like scrunch them up or fold them up and if you don't live in a mansion it's just really hard to like store them so um I was watching Desi Perkins video like ages ago and she said that she just gets fabric and um, this is called um a biscoy so v i s c o s e fabric so that means it has a bit of stretch to it and so what i normally do so um i have a fabric store near me and they sell like it's probably best to get two meters because if you get one meter and um it's too short then it's just going to look overly stretched but if you get two meters at least you can like kind of fold it over and you have as much fabric as possible and i use that so i've got loads of colors i've got this one um orange one a pink one a blue one and i normally use them for um instagram backgrounds or youtube until i move i really want i wish i had a lifestyle background but i think sometimes having a plain background is quite nice because the focus is just on me but if it was up to me
I think I would do a lifestyle background sometimes, but because um, I should do a story time about how I moved into my place, even though there's nothing wrong with it. I do want to move out just because it is small, but I kind of rushed to move out. So the place I live in is not the ideal place I want to live in, but lucky enough to live by myself and you know, it's really hard to live in London, London by yourself anyway because it's just so expensive, but that's another topic for another story. So with my camera, I've got an ATD and I, what lens have I got? It might be 24 to 105. Um, I've got, yeah, I've got different lenses. Um, I can, I can, if you guys want any more details in this or a specific, a specific video, let me know. Um, I have a ring light here, which is just a newer one from Amazon. And I, I'm gonna do Amazon's favorites actually and include everything what I'm talking about just so it's easier. I have two LED panels that face me there and I have a light at the back of me here that gives me that kind of um, halo kind of effect. So if I move it, yes, yeah, so it kind of gives that effect. It's very, a lot, a lot of YouTubers use it, but this one is called, that one's quite expensive. My friend Twee recommended, recommended that to me. I think that was about 110 pounds. So lighting is a good one, but it's all about the audio and the mic I use is this one and it's a Rode mic. This is what it looks like. <laughs> so um, I use a Rode, um, Rode Pro mic and it's probably one of the best microphones I've ever purchased. Um, I used to use the other one, but that one just wasn't that great. But if you, are, if you are starting out, definitely get it. It's not all about, sound does play a big part, guys. I heard that people would rather see good sound than good picture, which is kind of like, I get what they mean, because if the picture isn't that great, but you can hear what people are saying, then you'll keep watching it. But if the sound isn't great and the video's okay, you're gonna be like, well, let me just go from A to B. Do you know what I mean? Um, I use my laptop as a monitor and I use EOS utility for the Canon, which comes with it. So I'll probably do a more in-depth detail video if you guys want, because this is a bit long to talk about in here, but let me guys know. Someone messaged me and said, hey Gary, really loved your live on Friday. I'm so glad I got to see everything. Um, I fell asleep because I had to go to bed. Meanwhile, um, I'm reaching out to you because I'm trying to build a makeup page. What would you suggest? I get this question so much, guys, and if you want to build a makeup page, do it. I'm not saying don't. I just feel like this industry is so saturated, but there's always room for new people. So um, I would say if you are going to start a makeup page, just try and do something a bit different. Like I've said this before, like um, there's a girl that just does makeup in sunlight. There's people that just do really close up detailed makeup. There's some people that do graphic liners. Um, there's this guy who I really love called the Brooks Brother who has his own kind of niche. It's, he's just really, really talented. He has, he has his own kind of style to him. There's Cut Creaser, there's um, Nezra, there's so much people. There's um, Ushay, Ushe, um, she's got her own style as well. Um, just, just so much, I feel like you just have to have a niche and um, you just have to have quality content, guys. Like, obviously film on your iPhone, but it needs to just look a1 there's none none of this um android business this needs to look a a1 so someone asked me about my teeth because i mentioned it in the live i think and someone was like hey gary um i knew your teeth were good but i was so shocked to find out you had them redone in turkey what was the process like so i've done a whole video on my teeth and um, i've had my teeth done for hold on october november december january february march april may june july no june nine months and i've had no problems with them touch wood i got both of my because i got my first set done in london and i paid for that and when i went to turkey i got them done for free because it was a um a collaboration guys even if you wanted to pay for them for these because my ones in london were three grand or four grand and if you wanted your top and bottom done in turkey it's three grand or three and a half grand and guys there's no difference they're just the, the clinics are so clean they're so professional it's just that it's in turkey that's why people get you know that kind of skeptical about it so if anything happens they do have centers in london you can go to or they'll pay for your treatment if it isn't crazy if you get what i mean but um it's the best decision i've ever done so if you look at my old videos, I haven't had my bottom teeth done so you can tell because my top of teeth were so white, my bottom teeth were a bit yellow. But um, it's the best decision I've ever had. They're so fine. Obviously, I can't really eat apples. I can't really eat hard stuff. So I have to be careful what I really eat. But um, I love them. Okay, so this is... Oh, 
A lot of people asked this question since I was talking about surgery on the live. So someone goes, Gary, can you please do a breakdown of what everything you've had? And I've spoken about this so much times, but if you really want me to do a dedicated video to everything I've had done and I, I can speak about where to go, what to look out for, um, what kind of things you want done and who, like just where to basically go, I can do a video on it. So I have never gone under the knife. I've never had anything invasive. I've only had non-surgical treatments. So I've only had the cheeks, um, nose filler, tear trial, but that didn't work for me. I've had jaw done many times. I've had jaw done, oh no, this is my foundation not patchy, no. I've had jaw done, cheeks, obviously cheeks. That's the one comment I get. Oh, you look like Maleficent. Oh, I'm such like, shut up, bitch. Um, what else have I had done? Lips. <laughs> I love getting the um, laughter lines done. Oh my God, it's amazing. Especially if you wear full coverage foundations because it doesn't sink into your lines. Amazing. But I think I'm gonna do a full on video of dating with like non-surgical treatments because I think you guys would really, really like it because I do get top-ups but I don't really like filming that stuff anymore. So I'll definitely just take you along with me the next time I go. But this is the end of Sip and Slay because I didn't want it to be super long. I'm, I'm getting really, really hot because um, the alcohol is hitting me. I um, hope you guys have liked this episode. And if you guys have any more requests, let me know. And if you want next week's episode to be live, please let me know in the comments down below what the best time, EST time, PST time or, wh or whatever time. But um, I'm going to head to bed. It's now 4 o'clock and I'm up in 4 hours. But I'll see you soon, guys. And I hope you guys have a lovely, lovely weekend. Bye.